How's it going guys? Welcome to the Ashby Tapes. If you're new here, my name is Brent Fiore and I run this channel. This is our channel, a channel where we talk about men's fashion, fragrance, and wellness. So if you're into any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're going over the top five winter fragrances for winter of 2020 going into 2021, the designer edition. So if you're interested in any of that, stay tuned. So this list is in an order. It's ranked by my girlfriend from her least favorite to her most favorite. This isn't my order I would put it in. I just gave her the fragrances that I think work the best in the winter. And then we went forward from there. She ranked them out of 20, 10 for the opening, 10 for the dry down. So I will tell you her rankings for them and they will be in her order. So let's hop into the list. Coming in at the number five spot is her least favorite one. And honestly, probably my second favorite one out of the list. And this is Armani Privé. Mer Imperial. This is a amazing myrrh based fragrance. It's called Mer Imperial for a reason because it smells like an old church in the best way possible. With notes of myrrh, benzoin, amber, vanilla, saffron, and pink pepper, it gives this old churchy vibe in the best way possible, like I said. Performance wise, you're looking at about nine hours out of, and it's a softer projecting fragrance, but it lasts a long time and it smells of excellent quality. This is um, Giorgio Armani's Privé line, so you will pay a pretty penny for this. This retails for about $310. You can find them for about $210 here and there. I got a bargain on this one. I absolutely love it. Girlfriend, she gave the opening a 3, and she gave the dry down a 3. So a 6 out of 20, not the best, but I really like this one, and that's why I put it on this list. Something you definitely should sample before you buy it, because it's not for everyone. This is for a seasoned nose fragrance head. I love this one, and I cannot get over it. So at the number 5 spot, we have Armani Privé. Mer Imperial. Coming in at the number four spot, she gave a 15 overall. She gave a seven for the dry down and an eight for the opening. And that is Gentleman by Givenchy. This is an amazing, amazing fragrance. This is along the lines of Valentino, Momo Intense, Dior Homme Intense, but this one is my favorite out of all of them just because of how buttery it truly smells. Givenchy Gentlemen do black pepper, clove, cinnamon, vanilla husk, lavender, tonka, tolu balsam, orris, butter, benzoin, and patchouli in the best way possible. Buttery iris just to the max. It's sophisticated, it's masculine, it has that lavender which really brightens it up a little bit. It's not as rich as the Dior's are, but this one is a lot more wearable in my opinion, and it's a lot more crowd pleasing, and it performs for nine hours on my skin, and you can find this for about 37 to 45 bucks from what I've seen on FragranceNet, and this one is just a steal of a deal for that price. I got this one on a whim, really wanna try it, and that is now one of my favorite designer fragrances ever. I love this one and wear this all the time in the winter. This is called Givenchy Gentleman. It is a little bit more sophisticated of a fragrance, so something that you wanna wear with maybe a turtleneck sweater or even a suit, but you can honestly wear this with anything you want. A phenomenal fragrance for the winter. Make sure you check it out at the number four spot, guys. Again, that is Givenchy's Gentleman EDP. At the number three spot is a 17 out of 20 fragrance rated by my judge here. She gave a nine for the opening and an eight for the dry down. And this is Luna Rosa Black by Prada, a super slept on and super underrated fragrance. This one is a really about tonka bean, tonka bean, tonka bean. The coolest part about this is it's a dry dark fragrance, which is hard to kind of wrap your mind around, but it's effervescent while being dark at the same time. It wears really well on the skin, lasts about nine hours, and it is just awesome. The way Prada utilized bergamot, patchouli, amber, and cumarin, which is that tonka bean, to make a well-performing and much-loved fragrance by the fragrance community and a compliment puller is amazing. So on those days where you don't really want to wear a syrupy fragrance, but you still want some tonka sweetness, Prada Black is the absolute way to go. One of my favorites and one of the judges' fragrance as well. At an 18 out of 20 and a 8 for the opening and a 10 for the dry down, we have my favorite Boss fragrance of all time, and that is Boss The Scent Absolute. This is an awesome Maninka fruit based fragrance. It is amazing. It's fruity. It's warm. It's sweet. It's seductive. It's still lightweight, but it has this heavier aspect to it. This has a really nice fruity note of Maninka fruit, which gives this this liveliness, but it has this awesome base that just makes this a winter fragrance to the max, in my opinion. Boss did something with their ginger, Maninka, and vetiver. It really smells of ginger and Maninka. It has this woody base that is awesome and it dries down to it's super sweet, super sexy. Definitely a day night fragrance, but definitely something you can wear all the time. All these fragrances are really versatile, but this one, in my opinion, is the most versatile. This could be your signature scent, I think. I love this one. I got a 50 mil and I put a pretty decent dent in it as of right now, and this one is 
awesome. One of her favorites, an 18 out of 20, pretty darn good, and one of my favorites for the winter time going in here. Again, this one is only gonna run you about 30 bucks online, and it's totally worth every single penny. Good performer, easy to wear, and just super crowd pleasing while being a little more unique than your average designer in winter fragrance. With a perfect 20 out of 20, coming in at the number one spot, this one is, I'm so happy that this is at the number one spot. This is an awesome fragrance. It's unique, it's easy to wear, it's affordable, and it performs well. And of course, I'm talking about Salvatore Ferragamo, Womo Signature. Ferragamo Signature has notes of mandarin, pink pepper, cinnamon, cardamom, tonka, roasted coffee, and leather. The notes I get from this the most is definitely that suede leather, coffee, cardamom, and cinnamon. This is a spicy, spicy fragrance, and it is amazing. It's something that you can wear almost year round. It's dark, but not too dark, but it has this awesome spice and coffee aspect to it that makes it a warm and cozy fragrance to snuggle up next to someone too. This one is awesome. I love this one, super cheap. I found this for 33 bucks online for 100 mils of it, worth every single penny. I highly recommend you check this one out. The coffee, the roasted coffee in this is amazing, and I just love wearing this one. I get compliments all the time. My girl loves it when I wear it, and it's my favorite designer brand. So Womo Signature, good job, number one spot. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed anything at all, make sure to subscribe and share the video. Also, the niche list will be coming up soon for you all, so stay tuned for that. I love you all, God bless. I will see you in the next one.